Hey, what's going on? So here are the keys and the formula to good health. If you follow these steps, you can and eventually will heal yourself of virtually any disease. Number one, and the most important of all these steps, eating proper portions is as important as eating the right foods. Again, eating proper portions is as important as eating the right foods. Poor health comes from overeating on any foods. When you overeat, it's a major stress on your digestive system. All of these organs have an important function, and when they are stressed because of overeating, they begin to break down the body. When you overeat, there's a spike of insulin that causes many health problems, especially acne, headaches, and weight gain. When you overeat, it will affect the way that you sleep, causing things such as sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is insulin resistance. More energy is used during the process of digestion than any other function of the human body. Again, more energy is used during the process of digestion than any other function in the human body. If you're feeling weak throughout the day, it's a good chance that you're probably overeating and your body is using excess energy to break down these foods. The more work your body has to do, the more rest your body is going to require. The less you eat, the less sleep your body requires. And during sleep is when your body truly heals, recovers, and rebuilds itself. Again, during sleep is when your body truly heals, recovers, and rebuilds itself. Next, what causes overeating? Mainly foods that are not good for you. We tend to eat more of it because it tastes good. If you simply must eat foods that are not the best for you, always remember small portions. The poison is in the dose. Next, try to eliminate meats or any foods that are hard to chew. Anything that is difficult to chew will be also be difficult to digest. Most people will put a piece of steak in their mouth, then chew about five times, and then swallow. Remember, your stomach doesn't have teeth. Next, do not eat at night. Go to bed on an empty stomach. Get on a sleeping schedule. A key to health is early sleep. Two of the main causes of all diseases are overeating and undersleeping. Again, two of the main causes of all diseases are overeating and undersleeping. Next, do a blood test to see if you are deficient in anything. Vitamin A through Z, magnesium, potassium, calcium, iron, etc. If you are deficient in any of these vitamins or minerals, this can be the reason for your problem. Most people, especially African Americans, are deficient in vitamin D. If you are vegan, you are most likely also deficient in vitamin C. Be sure to get all of these checked as soon as possible. Supplement if you need to, but try to get all of these from food if you can. Next, get at least 20 minutes of sun daily. I don't mean traveling to and from work. I mean 20 minutes of direct sun. The sun provides life energy. Next, avoid sugar, white bread, white pasta, caffeine, dairy, processed foods, energy drinks, salty foods, high fructose corn syrup, which is in most ingredients, and partially hydrogenated soybean oil. Soybean oil and high fructose corn syrup can be found in virtually all processed foods. These cause chaos in the body, from obesity to diabetes to heart disease. These two ingredients alone are arguably the primary contributing factor for most degenerative diseases attacking people today. Next, relieve stress. Even if you follow all of these steps here today, you will never be able to heal yourself if you are stressed out. Do fun things that relieve stress. Also, do a YouTube search and watch a few videos on transcendental meditation. Next, the most important thing other than overeating is fasting. Fasting is the number one thing to allow your body to heal itself. I can't emphasize this enough. Not eating does wonders to your body. The gut needs a chance to relax. Once your gut can relax, your body will begin to heal itself. Gas, bloating, constipation, and headaches can all vanish. A 24-hour fast can help tremendously. Intermediate fasting can also help as well. Do research to find out exactly how to do intermediate fasting. A three-day fast would be ideal, but if you have never done a fast before, be sure to have supervision or consult a physician. Do not break your fast by overeating. 
Most people will fast and then immediately following their fast, they will go overeat. You want to be able to space out foods and eat in small portions to rebalance your system. So eat less and live longer. So before you go, I hope all of this information has been beneficial to you. I created a very small book where I go over all of these steps in detail that is available to you if you want to get a copy of it. Um, I'll talk about what to eat, what not to eat, how not to overeat, how to check your blood test to see what you might be deficient in, what are the best exercises to do if you don't have much time, how to relieve stress, how to meditate, real simple, and exactly how to fast, how long you should fast, and the steps that you should take when you're fasting. Also, I personally healed myself from high blood pressure, sleep apnea, daily headaches, cystic acne, bloating and indigestion, and asthma completely. And for all those who know me, know that I used to have a little bit extra fat around my waistline and especially around my back. But now I no longer have that fat and living clean and healthy. I'll explain how I did all of this in my book. So if you want a copy of this book, Click the link in the description of this video and you should get yourself a copy. And if you have any questions, on the last page of the document is my email address. Send them over and I'll try to get back to you at my early convenience. This is probably the most important video that you have ever watched in your entire life. And it can save you and it will save you if you apply these principles. You do not have to live with any disease or pain. You can heal. Again, you can heal. If you think someone you know can benefit from this information, please share. Click the link in the description, grab my short book, and let it change your life.